You there? Yeah, I'm here. All right, boss, you won the truck. You're I'm not kidding. <laughs> Dude, you you got to be kidding me, bro. Yeah, you won. Dude, we need a bottle of nitrous. Yeah, we want NOS. Dude, I, I don't have NOS. You think you it's can, Greg A here? You can hit a thousand horsepower, bro. I know I need a bigger turbo, though. Derek, just think about it for a second. If we had a bottle of nitrous... We could explode a six, an S369. We could explode it. <laughs> Welcome back to another awesome episode on the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Oh, by the way, if you guys just saw the beginning of this video, listen to the winner's reaction as I tell him that he won the Shorty Duramax. Now, if you didn't know, we ran a Duramax giveaway. All the entries were submitted. I received the name, and now it's actually time to call the winner. Now, if you guys missed the last video, definitely check it out. I made a horrible decision. I took the L5P Denali Duramax on the dirt drags. It's sort of our grocery getter, but I think the most interesting thing about this is the fact that the truck has stock tie rods. So if you haven't watched that video go back to the last one check that out first and then continue on with this one so the subject of this video i was tasked to find the best gmc or chevy at this truck event there was probably about i'd say roughly 150 chevy gmc's out there obviously when you think of the best truck in the show it's probably going to have the most money into it maybe a sema truck or maybe even a truck that's super high horsepower and looks really awesome but realistically i'm all over the place because i like the old trucks too maybe the old truck should win Maybe even like a 12 valve square body. Sit back, get some popcorn, and watch this thing till the end. Probably one of the most action packed videos in a very long time on the channel. I'm gonna take you guys through this entire truck show that I was invited to from Cole Motors, the Freedom Truck Meet in Van Wert, Ohio. We're gonna meet some really cool people, check out some awesome dirt drags, and then hang out with my buddy Derek as he dinos his 5.9 liter common railed Cummins. I think you guys are gonna be pretty surprised on what he can actually lay down in this old second gen. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the video. We both have awards we're gonna be giving away tomorrow. He's got the best Ferds. Ferds? Ferds. He's got the best trash cans. Trash cans. All right, so we gotta determine which is the best. So, walk with us. Obviously, a Ford is going to be the best, but we'll make do with the Chevy and the GMC. Best, best is the best. GM. Best Ford, best GM. Chevy guy, Ford guy, two different breeds over here. Yo, can you guys sign my dash? Are you serious? Yeah. You want us to sign your dashboard? Yeah, right now, let's go. You're crazy. No, let's go. Oh, he's gonna, let's do it. <laughs> this guy, hang on. What, what do you got? What, what is I it? I got a 08 Silverado. Oh, he's got a, she's got a Chevy. Oh my, dude, you're gonna sign a Chevy. I'll make sure I have to just scribble it. I mean, it, uh, I feel honored. You know, uh, a Ford guy has to sign the Chevy to make it better. I get that. You know, Whatever. It'll, it'll okay. <laughs> Don't subscribe to Crew Diesel on YouTube. I'm sorry, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Look at this. It's a dude. That thing gets absolutely rowdy. I think. <laughs> that thing would spank your fur. Oh, I guarantee you it would. It's hood stacked. <laughs> oh. And your Chevy. Oh, no. Well, it depends on you, what you, you want. You wouldn't touch the life, Max. No, I mean, no the offense. L5P? Oh, that'd be a good one. Ooh, that'd be a really Hang good on, you got a 6.7, don't you? I do. Uh-oh. This is America right here. So we have a black Chevy Silverado with a black dash, and we have a black permanent marker. What is that? That's not red. No, Double whammy. Well, at least you were smart and got a no. ball. <laughs> You're definitely getting a ticket for all these switchbacks. Well, they are. It's they illegal. Are. Look at that. <laughs> Good seeing you again. Yeah, nice seeing you again. Question. Yeah. Do you have a silver Sharpie? Uh, I don't know. Okay. I might. What's your top selling switchbacks? What is your most popular? Uh, Who buys the most of? One wants to make? know. Yeah, Chevy, Dodge, Ford. For sure, GM. Yeah. GM? Chevy, yeah. Yeah, it's our bread and butter. Yeah, so you know, GM. Yeah, yeah. that's very unfortunate. I thought it would have been that, like that's Ford. where the money's at. Did you, you see their new Ford ones? Look at this, the new Ford for the steel bodies. Those are pretty and the sweet. Six O's. I did. I have that right there is the cleanest looking switchback that you can offer. That's anywhere. pretty. That's pretty nice. What do I have on my six O power stroke? What is this? A GM one? Uh, you got the 
Is so, it the older style? The newer style. Oh, the newer style. style. Yeah. 2015 plus? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I feel like GM just really, really wants to be a Ford. You know, okay, so I, I do agree. <laughs> okay. So GM did an absolutely horrible job on these mirrors. They look hideous. Nice. Like, why? Huge. Like, why? $100,000. I'm not going to say that. $100,000 truck, and you can't get it right. Seriously. But it does look cool. Like, these are cool. These are cool. The rest of it looks dumb. I do have the Boost Auto Parts Retrofit key fobs. They're very sweet. They're very easy to pick up. I think they're, what, $40 on your website? I can't remember. Yeah, we have the 15, 2015 style and the 2020 style. So, 2020 is the newer one I think you have. Yeah. Um, and the price varies. The 2020 style is around 60 bucks, and the other one's right around 45 So, here's yeah. the license, Max. Yep. So, uh, we do have it. Um, absolutely love it. The ergonomics is actually just holding it in your hand. It's I know it doesn't do anything. It's not like a big upgrade or anything like that, but it's pretty sweet. I got to give it to you guys. It's a solid deal. It's a solid deal. Yeah, that's good. Where'd you go? Are you guys ready to sign my dad? Yeah. I got to write truck master. Oh, yeah. seen it up close yet it's gorgeous man red lifted my kind of style look at the second gen right here guys Ooh. looks like a lot of fun to own yeah that's a nice one this is like jaw dropping right here for me anyways maybe not you but for me it is it is it is one of the cleanest absolutely ever. beautiful guys look at this truck man well first off again I know I'm a judge, but again, I'm a sucker for red and chrome wheels. Look at this blue one. This is really nice, too. Right here. What do you think? Now, is this not the Cummins dumpster right here? If you ever saw one. Check her out. Woo! All right, so I, I guess I was told to judge since I'm part of the co-hosting or whatever of the vehicles. And I think you may have taken the win. Really? Although you're not in the contest, I guess. Well, but we got some motor issues. Well, and... first off, what's going on with the not nitrous, man? What do you got under this? Under this hood, man. You gotta have something cool in there. Uh, well, we had some other issues. Uh, did some burnouts, snapped the crank in half, so it would be logical. Cool. I mean, if they keep it black, I mean, I might as well open Trash can swap. It. Perfect. It. Trash can swap. Yes. Oh, man, that's brilliant. Dude, I'm telling you, you deserve an award for this. <laughs> the, gotta make them tires look wet. There you go. Perfect. Oh, how you doing? Dude, we got truck master in the building. Yo, What's up, gonna, man? How you doing, man? I'm pretty good. Oh, thank you. All right, guys, we have the Chevy versus the Ford. Who will win this battle? I think that's a gasser. Is that a gasser? Oh, no, that's a Duramax. Duramax. Uh-oh. You think he's going to gap him? Ford? Duramax? Drives. What happened though? He did. It's a user error. He did. I think it was that. Uh, oh, he did oh. have full wheel drive. That independent front suspension did not help on the dirt track. Hey. I, I, I think mean, you're wrong. I think the, the guy that drove it didn't put in full drive. So. Oh, so it's user error. Hang on, we got a like most Chevy. We got a Colorado over here, right? Oh. And we got here a six seven power stroke. Oh. So this might be oh. kind of interesting. So what was I saying? See, there's a little of a, a little okay. bit of a boost lag. Oh! You know, honestly, they both took off really slow. They did take off really that slow. Was like, I don't know why. That was like that, sh that movie Turbo, you know. Buddy took it. Like, <laughs> but it looked fast. <laughs> it sounded good. Right. Slow mo. It's just cinematic type stuff. Oh, we got ourselves oh, a Ranger. Ranger. Oh man, we already know who's gonna win this one. He's got a backup beeper. Yeah, that's that's it. That adds 20 horsepower. Oh. oh. off the jump that um, was all driver experience right there like that was, guy had a lot of skill yeah but that Cummins was he read the tree and he just took off 
Hey, he, he was, the Cummins was having fun though. He was. It's all the match. Yeah, he had the Terminators out, so he meant business. Oh, now we got a starting line. Oh, all right. So we got GMC versus GMC. I'm imagining they're both. Are they both? Yep, they're both there are maxes. Guy with the man tires. Girl with the girl tires. Let's see who wins. Oh, both have been in. Oh, I don't know. You got a two wheel drive. Drive Duramax? What's up, buddy? How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good to see you. You gotta check this out. This is insane. Look at this. Look at this monster. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Common Rail coming. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this, man. You got some hours in this truck. <laughs> Couple. Got a few. Insane. So, what was your overall break on the build? Uh, actually, I seen a picture of a uh, RC Fab. Uh, he's down in. I think he's in Texas. Yeah. And he built a couple of these. And then uh, Corey Wheat built another one. And I just thought they were cool. And it's a, uh, yeah, it's a 68 Lodestar cab on an 04 Cummins chassis, two wheel drive. Let's check him out on Instagram right there. Very interesting. So this here is a single cab, eight foot bed. And obviously you guys can tell it's lowered, but this is pretty sweet. I asked Logan over here if you'd put it on the dyno, but he can't clear the dyno, unfortunately. Yeah, they will not clear it. It has a S475 with a stock Garrett Turbo in the valley. Um, he got the piping kit just in time. It was before HSP stopped making those. He also has a 10 millimeter pump in it, 60 over injectors, built trans. He also has nitrous. Have you hit the nitrous button yet? I have not yet, no. <laughs> Living on the edge. Yep. And you said it was board 30 over? Board 30 over, yes. How much money you got in it? A lot. <laughs> I don't have a boost gauge on it, but the map sensor it's in it, it maxed out at 40, so. Oh, that's where you're at? Yep. So you've maxed it out every time? Yes. What do you imagine it hits? Uh, I'd say mid-50s mid -50s? probably. Mid-50s? Yeah. You guys let me know in the comments what you think he maxes out on boost. I'm curious with that S475. It'd be very interesting. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here's the prize to the winner with the best GMC or Chevy coming from Full Motors, as well as myself, I guess. Renegade products, pretty cool. And we have a plaque here, check this out. Best GMC or best Chevy or GMC for myself. So I have to walk out here and find out who has the best Chevy or GMC. So I may make the wrong decision to you guys. Maybe let me know in the comments if something jumps out at you. This is really hard for me. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and start looking around. Um, also, this one right here, gorgeous, man, by the way. Whoever whoever owns this truck, absolutely nice. Uh, we also have this right here. A lot of HSP WC fat piping going on. This guy's hood stack. He's got a lot of money into it. It looks really nice. I don't know, these two right here, it's a toss up so far. But let's keep looking. Hmm. See, I think what's catching my eye is just something that's a little more catchier. This is pretty nice. Skeleton freaked me out there for a second. How do I pick? Like, what is? what am I looking for? Like, what's the best looking truck? Or like, what's the most modified? I don't know. Oh, this isn't my league, but this Dually is just calling my name, man. That's so nice. If that was a Chevy, ladies and gentlemen, we know who the ultimate winner would be, huh? But the level of detail in this thing is insane. Obviously somebody went, they just had a lot of ideas with this. This is pretty sweet. So uh, let me know what you think about this. I mean, I don't know if they sell these or did was that custom built or what? I've never seen anything. What's cool is he's pulling off the flatbed idea. What do you think? You like it? I, it's, it's different, but it's not, it looks good. It looks good, but I don't think it's gonna be, it's gonna win this one. It's still cool though. Yeah, it's different, it's different. I will give him that much. Oh, this Denali's jumping out at me. Not only that, it's a Denali. And they may win only because farm use. See that? Maybe that's the, that, maybe that's the reason why they should win. Wow. Look at 
these tires, guys. Look at that. Crazy. Oh, guys. Lambo doors. That's pretty cool. That last one, though, looked kind of yeah. nice, too. Oh, yeah, it did. It was beautiful. Ooh. This is tough. Maybe maybe we can uh, see if this, this is any different from... Oh, yeah, this interior is beautiful. Man, oh, man. Yeah, okay, so the other truck, I don't think, had that. The truck's got a little more to it. Looks like it was... It's got to be, what, 16 wides? Uh, Woo! I think this is going to be one of my top right here. They're definitely this one top has, top two so that, far. No, that black Denali. Black Denali, yeah. So we're going to keep moving. Too bad we can't pick a Ford. These are pretty nice. These are looking. Yeah, they're, they're great looking. Here we go. Best in show right here. Oh, yeah. That's pretty sweet right there. <laughs> McGoy's lift kit. Was that eight to ten inch McGoy's lift kit? Powder coated. Lots done to it. Love the spikes. Very nice. All right, man. Talk to me. So we got a 2022 GMC Sierra 3500 AT4, uh, nine inch McGoy's lift, all custom powder coated in orange. Uh, 24 by 14 Forgiados with 38, 1550 damp tires. Um, a lot done, and I know it's a mouthful. It's probably really hard to talk about everything. I totally get yeah. it. But it looks really nice, man. Great job on the build. Thank I you. love the orange and the white. It really sets it off. Thank you. What was your inspiration with the white and the orange? Uh, so I wanted to keep the white up top, orange underneath. Orange has always been my favorite color. Just keep it simple and clean. Uh, I call the truck Livewire from Livewire, the Mountain Dew, Orange Mountain Dew. Nice. So I threw it in there, just, just a simple, clean, clean build. Uh, that'd be a tough one. That, this one right here is like, I don't know, man. Right. This would be really hard not to pick. I know why I work, but I love it. You know, I just said the most stuff done. I'm actually thinking the guy with the Lambo doors. I mean, don't get me wrong, the wall with the Lambo doors is definitely different. Yeah, totally. Like, it's not it's, something you see every day. Lambo doors. Yeah. That's kind of where I'm hooked on, but he's yeah. got powder coated forged wheels. Yeah. Beautiful truck. Now, the black, the black Denali, that was a beautiful truck also. Right. But there were just some things that I'd personally change about it. Yeah, I agree. And, you know, just to make, just to give it that edge. LBZ takes it right here. Best GMC or Chevy? Best GMC or Chevy? I don't know. You think you should win the award? No. <laughs> He got the PP rear diff cover though. Fine gentleman right there. This truck right here, earlier on the dyno was making 855. Good ass. Yeah. That's a look beautiful. At his, look, look at his air filter. It's kind of sucked in right there, unless somebody. Over there. Yeah. Yeah, it's sucked in. That air filter. Sucked in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And just think about it, the level of detail it took to paint match the inside of these lights. I mean, my man had to have torn these apart and baked the headlights themselves, paint them, bake them. It's a long process. Amount of detail. Amount of detail. Oh, look at that. Yep. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I wonder how long he's... I wonder if he's ever replaced those fuel filters. Oh, probably not. <laughs> my man's got a pink stack. Glittery pink stack. That's some character right there. But if we had a square body Chevy with a Duramax in it, I would say it would win. Because that's just cool. Ready? Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Lambo doors. My man's got Lambo doors. He wins the prize. That's cool. But it's a four. But it's a hard. Oh, yeah, we can't go there. Let's go look at it, though. That is so nice. Look, it's even got a powder coated frame. Level of detail, this would probably win. Yeah. I should have done that with the wife, Max. Should've. Yeah, I should have. Nice. So, what kind of truck is this? 66 C10 body. Chevy. Uh, 20 frame. 
all sorts of various parts. All right, hey, different. Oh yeah. I'm, ju I'm judging best GMC or Chevy. It's this tough, man. <laughs> you got bags? Oh yeah. He's got bags. Oh yeah. Can you hit him? You got air? Look at these guys, they're like, hold, dude, stop holding the line up. Oh man, here we go, here we go. Square body. Square body. Coming? Square body? 12 valve. Oh my goodness. <laughs> ah, it's funny how I'm walking past these SEMA trucks and I'm gravitating towards these square bodies. There's something about the square body. I know I said it before, but I think if I'm the judge and I'm picking the winner, I know I just contradicted myself when I said a square body with a Duramax in it, but that's the closest that we're gonna get. Yeah, it is. So, man, it's funny, we're walking right past all these SEMA trucks. Know, right? Like, like these trucks, what do you think, got $200,000 in them? Something like, something like that. Like, it looks Oh, man, what is this? Well, dude, it's got a Cummins in it. It's got a 24 valve. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Best in show. Right there. 2018 GMC Denali. <laughs> I like your thinking, sir. That's uh, beautiful. Between this one and that one. Best GMC or Chevy? Winner goes to the wife, Max. Oh, here we go, here we go. <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, we need a bottle of NOS, nitrous, for Derek. Okay. We're, we got it on the dyno. It made 827, uh, 2 and 2. No kidding. Yeah. 827 on the dyno. 69, 3S. So you need a bottle of nitrous? Yeah, he's getting ready. He's looking for it. On the other side of the road. I don't have a bottle of nitrous. You don't? No. I mean, I, th I thought you were joking, but I really don't. No, I'm dead ass. He wants to shoot it. Oh, he's shooting he nitrous. wants to make four digits. Oh, man. I wish I could get it on camera. Oh, God. Dude, we need a bottle of nitrous. Yeah, we want NOS. Dude, I, I don't have NOS. You think you it's can, Greg A here? You can hit a thousand horsepower, bro. I know, I need a bigger turbo, though. Greg I'll turn up to tune three and see what she does. Derek, just think about it for a second. If we had a bottle of nitrous... We could explode a six, an S369. We could explode it. Can't find that square body, but I did get a uh, video of it. We're I'm trying to find the best Chevy or GMC, and the only thing I've come up with is a square body with a 12 valve in it. And it's lifted well, and it's freaking that's sweet. pretty cool. Yeah, but I want it to be a Duramax to keep it Chevy. Yeah. Because it's better. Okay, whatever. Just send it. That cast iron head's gonna lift, bro. No, it's firing. Congrats though, seriously, 800? <laughs> yeah, the, guy, the guy's like, how much do you think you expect? I was like, 600. He's like, no, you made 727 on tune one and I made 827 on tune two. Insane. We're gonna walk over to the Cole Motors booth and see if he has any nitrous. Yeah. We're I just got all sidetracked. I found the best Chevy. It's in my mind. So um, <laughs> we're done there. I think I got a picture hey, of the guy's truck. Look at this Suburban, dude. Oh, <laughs> look at this guy coming. But it's not in the show. That's the problem. Oh. It's yeah, not. it's not in the show. It, this is in the co-host area. Oh, okay. Well, that's but, a pretty clean one. That's, but but now that you say it, man, this is actually, I would pick this one. This is one that Cole that's built. It's got boggers on it and stuff. That's pretty cool. Okay, Cole, the one that's running the event, you, you win, uh, but you don't. Because yeah, it's your event. Your you event. Know. Yeah, it's your event, but yeah. that's, that's yeah. pretty slick, dude. So uh, we just talked to Greg A. He does not have any nitrous, unfortunately. He does have a bottle, but it's empty. So what we're going to do, what are we going to do? We're going to turn a tune three, and we're going to whack it and see what she does. So that's yeah, what we're, we're going to do, guys. We're going to go ahead and send her to the moon without nitrous. I don't know how that's possible, but he's going to give her all the well, berries. With, with 12 mil and 400 horse injectors. Look, look, look. look. Sorry. Um, you see the pink on the on the paint job? It looks pretty good from what I've seen. Pretty sweet, isn't it? Let's go check her out real quick. Okay. I, I haven't seen that. Yeah, isn't it nice? I think you just made me a Duramax guy. Yeah. No, you didn't hear that. Uh, no, I'm video, man. 475, 68 in the valley. Uh, dual fuelers. What, what are you waiting on? Are you, you need it tuned, you said? It's not tuned. So, the homeboy back there is going to copyright me. I got to say, that other truck was really cool, but this truck's lifted. It's not as clean, the body isn't as straight. But I got to say, this has got to win. I mean, other than that Cummins Suburban that I'm really stuck on, it's Cole's truck. It's the guy that's running the event, so he can't win. That's beautiful. What was it, 8.30? 8.38. What was the foot pound, 
Do you know what he said? It's over there. That's still pretty impressive, guys. They did a little bit. It did. I told you. It didn't hit as hard. Well, we've learned we definitely need a bigger turbo and retune, but she still made 827 horse and almost 1,700 foot pounds of torque. 1,700 foot pounds of torque on a 47 or 48. 47 RE. 47 but RE. The big limiting thing is the S369 on that. These guys are here blown away by how much I pushed that thing. It's rated for like 750 horse, I think. That's insane, man. So it's over, almost 100 horse over. That's insane. Well, guys. It definitely runs good. Yeah. Congrats, bro. Thank you. This poor, this poor guy over here is waiting on me, and I'm over here over the dyno messing around and stuff. What's your name? Uh, Jeremy. Jeremy. Jeremy Thomas. Where are you from? Ohio, uh, St. Paris, about an hour and a half from here. Okay, so what do you got done to the truck? Um, just a lift, 12 valve swap, one ton front axles with some high steer steering. Nothing too crazy, but yeah. But respectable. Yeah. The only one that's better than yours is that there's like a, a, a lowered one. Oh yeah. It's super clean, super straight. It does yeah. have a Cummins in it as well. However, this is lifted and it's kind of like backyard, you know. But oh, then yeah. again, I'm done looking for somebody driveway. who's done the most to it. <laughs> yeah. But you, so they did the most. Your truck caught my eye the most. Yeah. And I just walked past like five SEMA trucks. <laughs> Yeah, that one got your eye the most, so the most. obviously it says something. Can you pop the hood? Oh yeah. All right. But your truck is lifted, so that's kind of like the stunning factor for me. Oh yeah. Very cool, very cool. So I am back from the trip. It really wasn't that bad. I should have brought the LBZ Duramax. Everybody was asking me to bring it, but I gotta say, this Denali did absolutely amazing, especially after I beat on it at the truck show. I'm glad nothing happened. And for some of you guys wondering, I was averaging between the 750 to 900 EGTs. Now on an uphill, I did see an excess of about 1,000, but that's not too bad considering what I'm pulling here. But with all that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and call the winner and you guys can hear his first reaction. I'd like to send a special shout out to every single person that came up and interacted with me at the truck show. That was really nice of you, as well as some of the people that actually helped me video, which was pretty cool. It was really just me there and my daughter running the table, so I didn't have like a camera crew or anything following me around. So every little bit helps. But I do want to say thank you to everybody. You know who you are. Okay, so we're finally going to call the winner. Hopefully he answers. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice message. Are you system. serious? All right, we're going to try this again. This is my third attempt. Your call has been forwarded uh, to an automated man. voice message. Come on, dude. I know you want to win this truck. You know what? I hate to do this, but I'm just going to text the guy and see if he uh, wants to call. He's calling. Hello? Hello, this is Chad. Hey, Chad. Um, let me get you on my Bluetooth here. You there? Yeah, I'm here. All right, boss. You won the truck. Here. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Dude, you you got to be kidding me, bro. Yeah, you won. Are you serious? Yeah, I tried to call you like three times. I was hoping I can get you on camera. I actually got you uh, on camera on my, uh, I guess, my mic. So. Dude, no <laughs> way, bro. Yep. I am so Tell me, dude, this is not a joke, dude. Well, this is me, uh, truck master. I know it is you. I, I, <laughs> I, I'm not going to mess with you. <laughs> this is pretty serious. Um, I got the name about, I guess, two days ago. Uh, okay. be before I started the truck meet so I wasn't gonna call you there though because it was so loud 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, we got about. Dude, I'm shaking, bro. Oh my <laughs> land, dude. I'm excited for you, man. I really am. So you're from New Mexico? Cool. Yeah, I'm from New Mexico, man. Wow. I have a shop, which I, is I have a diesel shop here. We do a lot of diesel stuff, so. You have a diesel shop? Yep, we what? do. Wow. So, dude, yeah. you're. No way, bro. Is this for real, man? Tell me this is not a joke. Well, so we got about, I, if I could speak for my, my friend Ryan and Mark, I think we have about $60,000 in this truck, maybe a little more. Uh, it's, a, it's a short bed um, or it's a shorty Duramax. Uh, we called it the Enforcer. Um, everything, every nut and bolt has been sandblasted, powder coated. Uh, truck is probably about 650 horsepower. I could be wrong, in or around that with the feeling. Um, but it's it's pretty sweet, man. And I'm really excited that you you called me back. It's like, oh man, hopefully I don't have to find another winner. <laughs> Dude, no man, I was like, I was tripping out because I get caught, like I use my cell phone for my business. So people oh. call me all the time. So yeah. I get spam calls and stuff. And so I usually like, you just called me. I was actually on the phone with a company. We just got a turbo for, we have a Cummins in the shop right now we're working on. Nice. And uh, we just got a new turbo for it and it, it doesn't feel great. So I was on the phone with those guys trying to get them to send me a new one, so. Oh, nice. Right on, man. Dude, that's so cool. So you're already in the diesel game. That's awesome, man. Yeah, dude, we love it. And you know what's crazy? So the reason why I even entered to win that truck is yeah. because uh, it's so clean. Like you guys did such, like, you know what I mean? Because I work on this stuff all the time and I see it and I honestly, hands down, think it's the nicest truck on the internet, period. Well, I, I agree and, and I appreciate that. That's that's very cool you say that, but you're right. I, I honestly, I don't think there's a single shorty Duramax on this planet that's that'll ever be better than that. Well, I don't want to say ever, but that's better than that thing right now. So, <laughs> but Dude, yeah, that's that's pretty sweet. We enjoy diesels and going fast. And so like, that's the whole reason why I even entered to win this truck is because uh, I, I just literally think it's the nicest truck, man, out there, period, hands well, down. If there was one truck on the internet I would want to win, it's this one. So that's, that's so sweet, sick. That's sweet, man. Okay, um, what, what's your diesel shop called? It's called Jaeger Wrenching. My last name's Jaeger. Some people think it's the alcohol, but I'm like, no, it's my, it's my your last name. name. <laughs> yep. Very cool, man. All right, well, um, I'm going to stay in touch with you. And okay. uh, we're going to go ahead and work out all that, you know, the aspects of how, how we're going to get this knocked out for you and get it, you know, get you going with it. So, but congratulations. I'm, I'm super pumped, man. Dude, I'm so pumped. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> no problem. Oh, that worked out perfectly. So congratulations, Chad. I'm so happy for you. I'm so glad that we were able to draw a winner. And I know it's kind of a bummer that if, for some of you guys that actually did participate in that thing and you didn't win, but unfortunately there can only be one winner. And honestly, guys, I'm not too sure if I'm going to do another truck giveaway. But that is it for this video today. Definitely on the way out, hit the subscribe button for me. Hit that like button. We'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned.